Okay, first create text, press T, or you can click this icon and type and select all with Control A and change the font to you can download the font on the link in the description and convert it to path by going to path choose object to path click the selector tool and I will make it ungroup so in the previous version for the text after you convert it to path you can right click choose ungroup but in Inkscape one point three, how to do that is by going to path choose the split path so you see if you zoom in it's one by one and with the node tool press F2 or the shortcut is N and I will select some of this node so start from here to here you see this node turn into blue that mean you already select it and hold control on the keyboard just make it line precisely okay then release all right with select your tool you can select all and hold control shift to create a proportional scale and you're ready to export it from Inkscape okay we're going to fall export choose the page and click export create a new file in file new and I set to this size this size is the portrait size for social media and click OK let's change the color to some red color you can click this black color and I change the color to this color you can copy this color or type in HTML notation if you want to get same red color as mine and click OK and with paint bucket fill tool or shortcut shift P click and click on the canvas and let's import the high text go to fall open its layers and just this and you can increase the size by pressing shift S on the keyboard to scale and hold control only to create a proportional scale and press enter I want to change the color to white to do that you can invert it in colors choose invert and we move tool I place it little to button and add some text again press T and type Control A and change the color to white and I want to change the font to Poppins bold and let's create spacing for each letter so select all and on the text option and you can increase this adjust the letter spacing okay oh, with move tool and I try to move to here edit the text again press T and click and press Control A let's increase it again and we move tool And let's import this object in fall open its layers and choose this move the layer to the top by dragging it and you can scale it down by pressing shift s and hold control only to create a proportional scale and press enter for this image you can select it with the bezier tool in game or the fastest way using the background remover online so this time I'm using the background remover online to make it fast then let's create a shadow in filters like in shadow choose the drop shadows you can adjust the shadow you can try to unlink this to freely move 
and blue radius the opacity not too much and after you're done click OK and the last I want to add the texture by going to file open its layers and I choose the number 2 and click open and you can play with layer mode just find the best for you I'm using the darken only okay and I want to rotate it a little by pressing shift R on the keyboard and press enter okay that's it I hope you learned something new how you can stretch the text on Inkscape and create this poster design on Kim. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.